So I want to show you how to use the A suite for any of you that have the SmartCom. <clears throat> it also works with the Avant X, but right now we're just talking about SmartCom. So as you can see on my screen, my uh, Samsung phone, uh, your Apple is going to be different. I don't have an iPhone, so we'll just uh, concentrate on Samsung right now or uh, Android. Okay. I've opened up the A suite. You see the first three selections are the Avant X9 and 6. <clears throat> we want to the right, we want the SmartCom. Okay, 99% uh, of you are going to have a 531.980. So I'm going to click on that. And does that look familiar to you? Sure does. Okay, we're going to click OK. All right, the first thing we want to do, um, I believe if you've already got the app downloaded and installed, it should find your SmartCom right away. Um, so I'm going to click on Connect. It's looking, looking, looking. And it says no device is found. Why would that be? Well... We have to take a look. We're going to go ahead and scan again. Okay, uh, I think I figured it out. <laughs> My other phone was uh, connected to it. <clears throat> I was doing some stuff earlier. So we're going to go ahead and click connect. You see it found it like right away. So that was the problem. Make sure you don't have something else connected with it. Very good. You just saw the uh, indication there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to click this down arrow on the upper, ha uh, upper line there. <clears throat> okay. These are uh, the channels the way they are after an auto scan. Um, you know, I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold the auto scan button in again. And we'll see what changes. If anything. So I'm holding the button in one, two, three, about three seconds. And it begins the auto scan with a slow flash. About one per second. Then it speeds up about two flashes per second. And that goes on for a few seconds here. And now it's finally uh, scanned. And I'm looking at my configuration here and it looks like there's a couple things i need to move around so what i will do is vh uhf vhf 2 is my milwaukee antenna and i'm going to look at the channels that don't belong there uh 12 doesn't belong there um there's some other channels that would belong there, but I'm not actually using a VHF antenna right now. So we're just going to go ahead and cancel channel 12 because that's a Chicago station. Now we're going to go go back to uh, the Chicago spectrum and we're going to add 12. Yes, I know VHF uh, 12 is a VHF channel. But uh, this DB8E picks it up as well as channel 4. And I'm amazed uh, because uh, they don't make any claims towards VHF with this antenna. And it's not a great VHF antenna, but uh, RF4 is very strong tonight. Um, and we'll leave, we're going to take 30 off. Because 30 actually should go to my Milwaukee. 30 in Chicago is a... Uh, 
LP station. So I'm going to go back to add 30 to my Milwaukee Spectrum. And I'm going to leave 36 out uh, for this time because that's only good on strong signal days. And I'm going to click OK. And now, I've got the channels where I want them. I'm going to go ahead and click the up arrow. Okay, that has just sent the configuration up to the SmartCom. And now what I can do, uh, I can click Adjust. And what Adjust does, uh, it looks at <clears throat> the strengths of all the channels, tries to equalize everything. Uh, that's what's going on right now. It's adjusting. Okay, uh, you see level 25. That's normal. And so we are now looking at uh, my uh, first antenna, all the stations here. It just worked out this way. Um, everything from 4 through 26 is Chicago. That's yellow. That's uh, antenna number one. We're going to go ahead and go to antenna number two. You see uh, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Uh, those are all Milwaukee. And then 33, 34, 35, those are all Chicago. So you can see the uh, all the uh, spectrum is very equal right now. Uh, you can adjust that. Um, usually I find that auto-adjust is good enough. So if I do... If I do find something um, doesn't look right, I want to experiment, I can, for example, uh, 35, I can click on 35, and uh, I can click the adjustment. I can go down with the adjustment, or I can go up with the adjustment. Okay, so that's your quick primer on the phone app. I just swipe the screen over. Now when I'm ready to save everything, if I think everything looks good, I want to save it. I'm going to go ahead and click this little, the old A drive button. And... Um, <clears throat> Here's one of my previous, uh, this is one of my previous ones here, Twin Scorpions. We're not working with those right now. We're working with the DB8E uh, split panels. So you can, if you have more than one array, or you're working with a friend, and you're going to his house, you can save some of these. Experimenting, playing with SmartCom. Okay, so... That's your quick primer. Uh, let me know what you think. There's the other uh, import export. All the things that you see across the top can be accessed from this little sub menu too. And that kind of gives you your uh, descriptions. So have a good day.